You don't drink tea or coffee? Never had a coffee. You've never had a coffee? Are you a morning or an evening kind of person? When, when are you best? When you're at your best? I, think, I, don't, I don't think there was a, an option. I'm just I'm all right all the time. You're just constantly yeah, on, yeah. on a, like a linear, so yeah. morning is nah, all right. I say, I say in the winter I'm a morning person because I wake up early. And in the ah, summer right. I'm an evening person because I wake up later. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you're seasonal. I like yeah, that. I've seasonal, never yeah. had that answer before. <laughs> tea, tea or coffee? Neither. Neither. I don't drink. You don't drink tea or coffee? So do you have like, do you like an espresso though? Like a de de decaf coffee, just no nothing? Never had a coffee. You've never had a coffee? Well, there's a video right there for the future. <laughs> I mean, somebody write that down. Right, next up, Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. What's your favorite game then? Uh, still Fortnite because I can't really get into any other games. Right. But yeah, it's not the same as it was, but you know. Are you, a big, are you a big gamer? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I haven't had that much time recently, but right. yeah, I do play quite a lot, yeah. Big skids <laughs> or big whips? Um, I suppose it depends on the bike, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess I'm not paying for the tyres either, so no. it doesn't. <laughs> um, uh, nah, big skids. Skids. Yeah, they're, they're fun, but they're safer. So. I think the first skid I saw you do was in Durham at the tour series oh, yeah. and I thought who is this kid yeah that weren't, they weren't my tyres either because I yeah because I did the bike change didn't I that's it and then yeah, I was yeah. using Jim Brown's Jim, Jim Brown's wheels so it's fine with his Roubaix tyres on he wasn't happy <laughs> <laughs> lucky it was a bit wet he probably saved, saved the canvas yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit um, okay um, best victory celebration bike lift or a Superman what would you kind of go for if you had enough of a gap or would you yeah, create something different Superman but I don't know I didn't really I don't know, I haven't really done cele celebrations like that recently in the last few years. I don't know, I kind of feel like I've grown out of it, but maybe I should. Sort of... I don't know, I kind of feel a bit silly doing it, but maybe I should just carry on, because why just, not? Just to see how you feel. I mean, just let it evolve naturally. Don't plan it, just see yeah, how you feel yeah, on yeah. the day. To be fair, I used to plan it Did you? I was a junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What is it? I mean, you are clearly a very confident young man. What's it like having that much confidence on the bike? Not so much on the bike about your physical ability, but about the way you you seem to be able to control the bike. You seem completely at one with it. Um, we're going into more serious questions now. Yeah, aren't we? it ebbs and flows. This conversation. Um, I don't know. I, I I guess if you like don't, nothing goes wrong very often. Then you gain confidence I guess right. um yeah I've certainly I say I've got less confidence than I did a couple of years ago you know like, like crashing at Lavenir and things like that I understand now as you grow older you kind of understand the risks a bit more don't you yeah um and what can go wrong but I get you know I've, I've ridden a bike since every day since I was like well not every day that's a bit push but yeah since I was four I read school every day I just kind of become very competent with yeah riding a bike and, and different bikes and doing different things and yeah nothing's really out of my comfort zone i say right. unless you ask me to do a backflip okay you're giving the keys to the delorean from back to the future it's an incredible it's, i don't know how it happened but it happens oh it happened and um this question is not going to go well because yeah. i watched back to the future well it basically gives you the power or the ability to go forward or back in time. Oh, so the car? Yeah, the car, the DeLorean oh, yeah, the car. Okay, okay, so okay. you've got the keys, the car's parked outside uh, the kebab shop you've just come out of, uh, and off you go. But where'd you go? Into the, into the future or into the past? Um, future. And because we know the past, don't we? We do, yeah. Oh, the future. How, how far would you go? Because um, you've got a little, little knob that you twiddle and it's got the years on it, so you can choose. Um, oh. You can only go one place, one time. Just just one op opportunity, then you're back, back at the kebab shop on the way home. <laughs> um, I'd say probably 50, 50 years. Okay. Because are you allowed to bring anything back with you? Yeah, go, yeah, you, yeah. You can bring one or two souvenirs back. Yeah, as long yeah. as it's not a person. So that would I'd completely go into the, do, do things in. I'd go to the future 50 years and see what the planet is like with climate change and then I'd show everyone what it's like and then hopefully that would... Oh, now that is a good answer. We didn't plan that. That's a very, very good answer. Top marks. 
Top marks. Your fist been out for a ride and you're kind of knocking yourself up something together. Well, what would you normally go for? Just cook some pasta, tomato sauce, vegetables, and I don't know, yeah, some chicken or bacon or something. Have you ever had a cheeky pot noodle when you're coming from a ride? No, never, no. No, okay, yeah, just give it a try, mate. Maybe off season. <laughs> don't tell Dave B. Um, which Avenger would you be? Iron Man. Because his house is sick and he's got some sick cars. It is an amazing house, isn't it? Yeah, it got, I know, but it got destroyed, didn't it? It did, it got blown up. Yeah, um, but he can rebuild it, he's got loads he's, of money. He's, he's, he's a bit flush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, um, and everybody else who's watching, one um, Netflix or kind of streaming uh, recommendation that you've watched during lockdown or something. A, a good series or, or a film that you've watched. Hmm. Um, money Heist. Okay, that's on Netflix, isn't it? I believe so. It is, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's it's weird. It took me a few episodes to realise that the they were actually speaking Spanish, but there was English dubs on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was thinking. I kept I kept going off the episode and like loading it up because I didn't think the voice was in time. <laughs> so <laughs> that's really good because that's really funny. Because my last question was going to be, what has this pandemic taught you? And clearly, it's taught you to kind of look a little bit closely at, at foreign films, hasn't yeah. it? Really. But, um, I guess so, yeah. That's one thing I've, <laughs> thing, thing I've learned during lockdown, yeah. Fair enough, mate. No, and finally, I mean, it's been an interesting year, isn't it? It's obviously a big year for you, signing with uh, Ineos Grenadiers, moving forward. So you've got an exciting, exciting future. But what have you, have you learned anything about yourself through this pandemic? Because everybody's kind of had their own kind of unique experience, haven't they? Uh, I think, not that I've learned, because I sort of was already like anyway, but it's important to just not stress about things and worry and just yeah. yeah just take it day by day and just chill basically not that's... not to worry everything's all right in it well reason. i guess it's easy to say that when everything is all right but uh yeah just try and relax and be as calm yeah. as you can and because it is the things are nothing you can do right. is there yeah like yeah you, you might everyone's got their opinion of everything haven't they you might not agree with it but it is what it is isn't it and just got to get on with it. Fair enough. Just like the conditions in the cyclocross race, you just got to get on with it. Yeah, you? you just got to get on just with make it. Make sure your tire press is right. Yeah, exactly. No crash. Cyclocross, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable.